Endocytoscopy is an ultra-high magnification technique that provides images of surface morphology at cellular resolution approximating histology in real time. This video will demonstrate the technique of endocytoscopy and the salient features of normal and abnormal endocytoscopic view in the gastrointestinal GI tract. Visualization of the cellular structures is enhanced by application of a double stain technique which approximates hematoxylin and eosin H and E staining in conventional histology. The surface is first treated with a mucolytic agent 10% N-acetylcysteine. This is followed by application of 1% of methylene blue, which stains the nucleus, and 0.1% crystal violet, which not only stains the nucleus but also the cytoplasm. The endocytoscope probe is then passed through the working channel and is gradually maneuvered until the tip approximates the mucosa. Endocytoscopic images can then be obtained in real time. It is sometimes necessary to fit a transparent cap at the tip of the endoscope to fix the mucosa to the endoscope, enabling the probe to obtain crisp images. A patient with a 4 cm Barrett segment was referred for further workup as random biopsies performed at a periphery center revealed high-grade dysplasia. High-resolution endoscopy revealed normal-appearing mucosa proximally. Endocytoscopy, which was subsequently done, showed regular glandular structure with homogeneous appearing intestinal metaplasia cells clearly containing nucleus, which appears uniform in nature, bordering the glands. Another area distally, which appeared irregular on narrowband imaging, NBI, was further assessed with NBI and optical magnification. The vascular was irregular and tortuous, raising suspicion of an underlying dysplastic area. The pit pattern too appeared grossly abnormal and irregular. Endocytoscopy revealed total loss of the glandular pattern, markedly increased cellular density, and the nuclei appeared pleomorphic and enlarged. Subsequently, endoscopic resection of the abnormal area was performed and histology revealed an intramucosal cancer. With normal esophageal mucosa, squamous cells can be seen with nuclei that have a regular shape and size and good nuclei to cytoplasm ratio. In the duodenum, the villi can be clearly visualized with presence of regular appearing villus capillaries. Numerous nuclei which can also be seen within each villi. In a patient with a MARSH-3 biopsy-proven celiac disease, the mucosa appears atrophic with complete absence of any villous structure.
There is a cracked mud appearance and capillaries are distinctly absent in contrast to the normal pattern. Endocytoscopy performed on normal colonic mucosa reveals uniform appearing glands which are regularly arranged. Each gland is lined by epithelium which is arranged in a radial fashion. In a hyperplastic polyp, serrated glands with star-like pits can be clearly observed, as depicted here. The morphology appears strikingly similar to conventional cross-section histology on H&E stain. In an adenomatous polyp, tubular appearing glands can be visualized with nuclei which has a disordered polarity in keeping with high-grade dysplasia. In conclusion, we have demonstrated the technique of endocytoscopy and some of the salient features of normal and abnormal mucosa on endocytoscopy. This promising device could potentially be used throughout the gastrointestinal tract, enabling further characterization of pathology, such as dysplasia or early cancer in Barrett's esophagus, villus and cellular morphology in patients with suspicion of celiac disease, or assessing and differentiating colonic polyps in real time.